So we all are aware about those FM radios and no, in this video, I'm not going to teach you how to make those old gen FM radios. But what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can broadcast your live audio or live music over internet without owning any frequency license, of course, using ESP32 board acting as an internet radio. Good afternoon, everyone. This is your boy Sachin Sony live from Tech SMS radios. And now is the time for one of the favorite songs for the favorite series of the whole world, which is Money Heist Baby, and this is Bella Ciao. Enjoy the song. Good afternoon, everyone. This is your boy Sachin Sony live from Tech SMS radios, and now is the time for one of the favorite songs for the favorite series of the whole world. It is Money Heist Baby and this is Bella Ciao. Enjoy the song. Isn't that an interesting project to try out this summer? So while watching this complete video, you will be learning about how we can use ESP32 board as an internet radio, how to use the I2S amplifier module to play the audio directly from the ESP32 board, and how to find those internet radio websites from which we can get those mp3 files and put those file links into the ESP32 Arduino code. And in the end, we'll be learning about how to use the radio.co website and butt mixer tool to broadcast your own live audio over internet. So there is a lot to learn in this single video. So let me grab all the components required for this project. Until then, you enjoy this informative ad. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM365. So LTM365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So first of all, for making this project, we'll need an ESP32 board, a MAX98357 module, a speaker and a micro USB cable to program our board. Well, you can get all these components from our website techiesmas.com at an amazing price whose links you can definitely find in the description of this video. So after getting all those components, you need to connect them all according to this connection diagram. Now here we have used this module which help us to convert the digital signal coming from the I2S port of the ESP32 board into analog signal and not only that, this module also has a built-in amplifier in it so that we can directly attach a speaker to this module without any external amplifier. And well, if you want to know more about the I2S communication protocol, well, I recommend to watch out the Great Scots video whose link you can find in the description of this video. Okay, so now after understanding the hardware part of the project, let us move on to Arduino ID and write a code to make our own internet radio. So for programming our internet radio, you first need to have the ESP32 boards package already installed in your Arduino IDE. Uh, in my case, I have already installed. And secondly, you need to have the ESP32 I2S audio library, which you can find on this GitHub repository. Okay, so you just need to download the zip file of this library, whose link you can definitely find the description. And once you download it, what you do is you just need to go to sketch into include library into add zip library here inside the downloads folder you need to search for the library which you just downloaded which is esp32 hyphen audio i2s okay so here is that library you just need to select that library and click on the choose button and it will automatically get installed in your arduino id in my case i have already installed that's why it says already exist okay so to check whether the library is installed or not you can go to the uh, files examples 
And if you scroll down, you'll get the uh, ESP32 Audio I2S master uh, folder here. And these are all the example codes which you can try out using the I2S module along with the ESP32 board. Okay. In my case, I have written one sample code to play one, uh, you know, music file or live music file. Okay. So here is the code for that. So first of all, we have defined all the three pins required for the I2S communication as per the connection diagram I've shown before. After that, here you need to provide the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router because it will be streaming the live music from internet. So it needs the internet connectivity. Once it gets connected with the internet, it will initialize the I2S communication. It will set its volume to 100%. That's the full volume. And then it will, uh, you know, stream this MP3 file by the command called as connect to host. Okay. So here you can provide different, different MP3 file links and you can play any of the uh, audio file that you want to play. Straight after that here in the loop, we have just one single line, which is audio dot loop, which will be handling all the I2S or the audio related commands at the, in the back end. Okay. And this audio info function is a special function, which will help you to debug your code. Okay. So it will constantly print all the, uh, you know, debug messages inside the serial monitor. If you delete this, you won't be able to see any kind of messages. That's a very simple code. And uh, let's just straight away try out this code. So I'll select the right board, which is do it. Dave get V1 right com port is already selected and let's just straight away hit the upload button and it's done uploading I'll open the serial monitor and uh, let's see okay so it is getting all the data and it started playing the audio let me mute this in case there is some kind of you know copyright issue Okay, so we are successfully able to stream the live music onto uh, with the help of our ESP32 board. So it's a, a sample code for your internet radio project. Now the next question is how to play the actual radio maybe in your city or your uh, country. Okay, so I found one website. Let me show you. So here is that website called as tunein.com. And on this website, you can find a lot of audio content, maybe audio books, maybe podcast, maybe news may be a uh, music okay so what you can do is you can search for different different content uh, if i go to maybe music yeah here are all the different radios maybe from different different countries okay but uh, let us go to the news section because that uh, is something on which i won't be getting any copyright strike so let us play a bbc news audio content you're listening to wcbu peoria public so yeah this is the audio content from bbc news so now the question is which link we should provide here inside the code file to actually play this news live okay so you don't need to provide this link of course what you need to do is you just need to right click here and go to inspect well this is working in uh, google chrome let me make it clear and here just type as, uh, as control f and search for blank.mp3 okay so when you find this blank.mp3 file uh, you don't need to again copy this line you don't need to do that what you do is you just need to note down its a uh, jp player so this is under jp player 2 so you just need to search for the jp player just above it okay so jp player 1 is what we are searching for so inside jp player 1 we'll be getting one mp3 link okay and this is the link which we are looking for okay so if i copy this link and paste it here inside the new tab let's see what happens you're listening to wcbu peoria public so we got the mp3 file the url using which we can stream the live bbc news okay so i'll copy this link and i'll paste that here inside the code and now we are good to go to upload this code onto our esp32 board so let's just try it out so i'll click away uh, i'll straight away hit the upload button here yes it's done uploading let me open the serial monitor okay so it started searching for that live stream link you're listening to wcbu and here we are also able to see the title of the stream okay so there is a npr morning edition theme okay and now here is one problem there is sometime this error shown which is slow stream dropout may possible in which we get some glitches in between the audio streaming that is what we are getting right now here as well wcbu peoria public radio part of the npr network Ashed a dumpster to share his house after his arrest to share also allegedly told an associate online to delete all messages with him and that if anyone came asking questions about him not to tell them 
Okay. okay so it is perfectly streaming okay so sometimes it shows this error of slow stream well this happens uh, a couple of website with couple of mp3 files while with couple of them it is not at all happening i tried to find out the solution for the slow stream problem but i didn't find the solution for that so in case any of you watching this video find out the solution of this i'll do drop them in the comments of the video that will help me and all other community members as well okay so this is how you can you know uh, go for any of the podcast any of the live music radio stations and play them onto your esp32 board interesting right but what's more interesting is if we can live broadcast our own voice our own audio well it's definitely possible and i found a way to do that okay so for that what you need to do is you need to go to a website called as radio.co it's a paid website of course but it is giving a free uh, seven days trial version so in case you want to use it professionally you can use that so what's this website all about well let me just uh, log in into my account and show you of course this will ask for your uh, credit card or debit card details you need to provide them to make an account but what you can do is once you provide it and it start with the seven days uh, free trial you can remove the card as I did. So I already created an account and I removed my card from this. So I'm on a safer side, so I won't be charged any single rupees, okay? But still it is available for only seven days. So this platform is for streaming audio files over internet, okay? So here you can add your media files like the MP3 files and audio files and upload it. And after that, you can start streaming, you can go on air and you can provide the link of your radio stations to other people so they can listen. And here on the dashboard, you can see uh, the number of of listeners the storage uh, like how much storage is left on your side from which country which uh, geographical location people are listening to what just top five region top five devices so all the data you will be getting here so it's a professional platform for broadcasting live audio files or in short for making your own internet radio this is the platform okay and we're using this platform for uh, broadcasting our audio and our mp3 files as well but here if you can see there is no option for attaching a microphone and you know uh, broadcasting a live audio live uh, voice okay so for uh, for doing that you need to add one more extension called as bu double t but mixture so here is the application which i have already downloaded okay you need to download it on your system so let me just open that uh, but mixer so here is that application so what you need to do is here first of all you need to go to settings and here inside the server section you need to click on the add button click on radio.co and it will ask to log in with your radio.co account once you are uh, you know log in with your radio.co account it will automatically detect your server in my case it is techie sms okay so with this we have successfully linked the butt mixture with uh, radio.co and with the help of this butt mixture we will be able to stream our audio through the microphone attached to this uh, uh, this computer okay so we are all set with the uh, software part okay so now before testing it onto the esp32 part let's just test it here inside the laptop itself okay so here what i'll do first of all is i'll click on the play button and it will start broadcasting my own radio and it started playing a uh, audio file and now if you want to share your internet radio link what you can do is go to the listen section and here you just need to copy this url and if i paste this url in this tab in the like next tab i can able to listen to what i am streaming okay so yeah this is how you can share this link and start your own internet radio okay and here uh, from this dashboard section we are able to see how many people are listening to us and from which country they are so everyone is from india okay top platform is chrome itself okay so everything is uh, visible on this dashboard now i will click on the stop button here and let this provide this link inside our esp32 board okay so i'll copy that link and i will paste that link here and i'll straight away hit the upload button and upload this code onto my esp32 board okay the code is successfully uploaded i'll open the serial monitor and let's see the response here so as you can see it started playing the audio which i was streaming from here okay so this is how I'm able to listen to the audio on my own internet radio station. That's amazing, right? But now let us test with streaming our own voice or rather my own voice using this platform. Let me show you the demo for that. So what you need to do is you need to go to this uh, but uh, what we can say mixture and here you just need to click on the play button and it will start streaming your audio through the radio.co platform okay so as you can see it got on air so now it is streaming my own voice and i'll show you the demo for that just let us listen to it carefully audio 
audio through the radio.co platform. Okay, so as you can see, it got on air. So now it is streaming my own voice, and I'll show you the demo for that. Just let listen to it carefully. So yeah, uh, you listened it. So this is how I can stream my own audio using this button. Make sure using radio.co and using ESP32 acting as an internet radio. And if I click on the stop button here, it will start broadcasting the audio files uploaded onto this platform. As you can see, this status got uh, converted into not connected. So now it is streaming the audio files already uploaded here. Now, if you have the question like how to upload the audio files and how to stream those files, well, the simple answer is you just need to click on the add media button and here you need to select the mp3 files which you want to upload if i exa uh, for example if i select this file and click on the open button it will start uploading that media file here and this is how you can you know add your own tracks and just share your audio files share your own music with the world so this is how you can broadcast your own audio your own voice your own made music throughout the world using the radio.co website and this bot mixer and also with the help of the ESP32 board acting as an internet radio. How is this project according to you? Well, this project can help you to make your own radio channel that's internet radio and you can share your links, share the codes and let the world listen to your own voice.